hello everyone welcome back to my channel we are doing a very casual vlog today I am Emily and I thought we would just do a long weekend or maybe a weekly vlog I don't know because I haven't vlogged in ages and we're trying to get back into the swing of things today is Friday September 16th I have written very little this month I have written, weirdly enough, just on the last two weekends, and a little bit yesterday and the day before. This weekend we are trying to get unstuck on In Dying Starlight. I'm working on the ninth novella. Next week I need to start posting it, so I really need to finish up the last of it and work on editing it. I have two other projects I'm working on at the same time, which I really want to switch over to work on, but I have to do In Dying Starlight because I'm posting it on Royal Road and elsewhere, but I've got what I've decided to call Project Frost, which is the romantic fantasy I've been talking about. I'm also pulling a novella I've had on submission at a single place for 18 months. The editor has just sort of not responded to me. I've sort of realized I'm not really going to get an answer to that, so just letting it sit in the slush pile is... I would rather publish it myself. That novella is the C at the end of everything. I did write that novella on this channel a couple of years ago, ended up revising it and submitting it. I'm going to be revising that novella very soon. I'm going to do a bunch of illustrations for it and we're going to publish it. That novella is a very oddball, weird kind of... The plot doesn't make very much sense. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to revise it into something coherent and something not just weird short story readers can appreciate. The majority of people can appreciate. It's a story about two sisters and there's some romance on the side, so I might buff up the romance a little bit and just revise it into something cool. And it will probably end up being a long novella or a short novel. Illustrate it, publish it. So both The Sea at the End of Everything and Project Frost, I, I want to be working on those right now. My brain is like, we need to move into this. We need some fantasy. Let's go. But I have to finish in Dying Starlight. So I don't know if this will be a very long vlog at all. So I don't know. This might be two or three clips. It might be some more. We're going to see how long it takes me to finish off in Dying Starlight number nine. Since I am stuck on the end of it, the novella right now is how long is it? Number nine is 28,500 words right now. I sort of got to a certain part and I'm not sure how to transition it into the ending it needs. So the next thing I'm going to do is write down a very vague outline for books 10 through 14. I've added a couple novellas in to here to make the pacing correct. I'm gonna do a really quick outline on novellas 10 through 14. I started working on this yesterday, didn't finish it. And so that will sort of let me know where all the characters need to be to transition into book 10 and that will probably give me a way better idea of where i'm supposed to be with the end of book nine that's what we're doing let's go <laughs> Hi, it's this evening. Um, I've outlined as much as I think I can outline at this point, and so I'm just working on drafting the ending of In Dying Starlight 9. And considering I'm really pantsing the end of this, it's going fairly well. I think I'll probably turn this into a writing and publishing productivity vlog because I have a lot of Kickstarter stuff to do today, and well, it's, it's almost 8 o'clock now. I've been doing a lot of Kickstarter stuff today, and over the next couple of days and need to proofread in Dying Starlight 1. Lots of stuff. So I'm going to go back to writing a little bit before my brain taps out for the night and I'll get started tomorrow morning. What are you doing in here? Huh? Hey you. Hey you. What you doing in here? Huh? You should be girl. Yes you are. Alice? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Okay, it's Saturday, September 17th. It's about two in the afternoon now. I was doing stuff all morning. Like I mentioned yesterday, we're kind of turning this into productivity. We got lots of stuff to do. TikTok this morning, cleaned house, did laundry, that kind of thing. I am right now 
coming up with the rest of the categories that I can send Amazon for Under the Earth Over the Sky. I found four more for ebook and five more for uh, paperback. I don't know if you can hear the weed whacking going on outside. I will make this clip short. Other things on the agenda for today is this vlog. Back up in Dying Starlight and clean out my Google Drive because it's got a bunch of junk in it and it's giving me alerts that it's too full. Listen to more audiobook chapters um, right in Dying Starlight 9. I did have some other stuff on my weekly checklist. I think I showed you that in an earlier clip. I don't know if I'll get to all of it, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I might try to do some proof stuff with Under the Earth, Over the Sky, and proofreading in Dying Starlight 1. Finishing the draft of In Dying Starlight 9 is priority, so I'm gonna finish up my Amazon email and try to sit down and concentrate on In Dying Starlight 9. Morning. I just got up. Oh, you can tell. <laughs> it's Sunday the 18th. Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but it's going to be mostly in Dying Starlight 9. What do I have on the week's to-do list that looks like something I can get done today? I'm about to do TikTok, and um, I just re-upload my TikToks to Instagram, so... I'm not gonna call Amazon about my weird ebook problem. All my headers on the ebook of Under the Earth Over the Sky are right aligning for no good reason. I have to call them, but I don't think I can call them on the weekend. Back up in Dying Starlight, clean out my Google Drive, didn't do that. Listen to more audiobook chapters, and mainly just write in Dying Starlight. I, I think I got unstuck. I wrote like 600 words yesterday. So yeah, not very big writing days, but I think I'm unstuck. The day before, I only wrote a few hundred words on the draft and a few hundred words on the outline. Yesterday, I wrote about 600 words on the draft. It's actually perfect fall weather outside. It's beautiful. Guys, it is finally raining. This is a big deal in California. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's very misty and rainy. It's been raining all night. It's so great. We got our plants. They're very happy. This guy bloomed like 30 times in the heat wave we had the other week. All right. It's Monday, September 19th. I ended up writing 2,200 words yesterday. Very good. Good character interaction. I love this novella. It's a lot of emotional plot line and a little bit less of that outward plot. Just a little bit. I wrote 2,200 words yesterday. Um, I was still a little bit stuck on where I was going with the ending, but while walking the dogs uh, yesterday evening, I think I figured out what I need to do. I need to, when I'm editing, go back and fix some stuff in the beginning, but I have a I have a solution for what I was doing. So I should be able to finish it today, hopefully today. Tomorrow at the latest, I need to get this done. I need to start editing it and posting it. And also this week I have a, a ton of stuff to do regarding In Dying Starlight and Under the Earth, Over the Sky. Yeah, I'm gonna call Amazon and then I'm going to write In Dying Starlight. We're gonna try to get that finished today. It might be like a 5K word day. I'm not sure. We'll see. Passing at him and said, her father yelled back to the group. I said, use the crosswalk. Okay, ignore how I look. I just wanted to pop on and say it's now Tuesday. I ended up getting so involved with like publishing and marketing stuff yesterday I didn't actually write. <laughs> We're gonna finish it today. We're gonna finish it today.